Hey guys, good morning. So I'm just gonna jump on here and tell you about our trip to Stowe. So we stayed at Stowe Mountain Lodge, it's actually called the Lodge at Spruce Peak now, but same resort, same amazing place, and we've actually gone there the last three years now. Um, the PR person there is wonderful and we've been friends for a while and she's just invited us up the last few years and of course we always say yes because it's the trip that we look forward to all year long. So um, I figured I'd do a quick pro and con of the place and then I'll kind of recap our days and then you'll get a few more details about what we did. But really this place, it's so great for families. There's so much to do, um, highly recommend it. I mean. Friends in real life have asked us about it over the years and we always have so many great things to say. So, I will get into this, got my notes, always have my notes. Um, so, the pros. Number one, the place is beautiful. I mean, the mountains are literally right there. Um, Vermont is gorgeous to begin with, um, but yeah, it's, it's just gorgeous. The whole place is really new. Um, they've renovated things, updated things. Um, it's actually owned by Vail, like Vail, Colorado owns this place now, so it's just wonderful. It's perfect. It's just everything is so beautiful. Um, we stayed in a one bedroom suite, so we had the bedroom and then a pull out couch and then a full kitchen and bathroom. So great place to stay. We have a little balcony. Um, really, really nice. Everything was wonderful there. Um, the food was amazing. I mean, a lot of it's local to Vermont or very close by. Um, the chefs there are great, high quality ingredients, very interesting menu. It's not like the usual boring stuff, but of course they have the usual kid stuff, which <laughs> if you have a picky eater, you're very thankful for those things. But even along that same line, Quinn would get, you know, a peanut butter and jelly or um, cheese or grilled cheese or something like that, but it would come out in this bento box and it would have like fruits and veggies with it. So I mean, even though he ordered, you know, chicken fingers and fries, it had the healthy stuff as options and he actually did end up eating carrots with peanut butter one day, so we'll take it. Um, so much to do is my number three on here and yes, so much to do. I'll go into a little bit more detail about what we did on this trip, but <coughs> really there's activities like all day long. Um, the service was amazing, everyone there is so nice. Um, like I said, the summer is awesome to go up. Um, it's a little bit more low key, it's, it's busy but not like crazy. Um, so I think we definitely had some amazing service for that reason too, but I mean everybody there was so nice. Um, and then the location, so so amazing town. I mean there's so much to do at the resort, but outside the resort, there's all sorts of restaurants and shops and biking trails and hiking trails and kayaking and canoeing. And if you like outdoorsy stuff, Stowe is such a great place. Outdoorsy stuff and food. The food is pretty incredible. And they have some great breweries there. Uh, it's just, it's great. And then also 30 minutes away is Burlington, which is a small city. Um, more shops, more restaurants. Um, it's on a lake, very beautiful. So um, if you were to go up to Stowe, Burlington's not far. You could visit there too. And there's even more to do there. And so my only con of this place is that it's pricey. <laughs> it is not cheap. Um, I mean, granted, you know, a lot of it was covered because, you know, this was a media trip for carrots and cake and, you know, my family was included and whatnot. It is expensive. I do think it's worth it. Um, and I had even said this to Mal. I'm like, if it doesn't work out and we're not invited this year, I still want to go because it is so awesome. Um, and they actually have deals. Um, I think in the spring, I wanna say, maybe spring and fall. I, I'm on their email list, so I would get emails about deals that they have. But if you purchase like two nights, you get one free, or you purchase three nights and you get like a spa credit or something like that. So they always have deals. I mean, it's one of those things, sign up for the you know, Spruce Peak email list and they'll have deals and things like that. Um, and also, like I said, with the kitchen, I mean, you could totally, you know, make some of your meals there. Of course, you could eat at the resort, but I mean, if you want to do like a little breakfast or something, there's a full on stove, dishwasher, refrigerator, and I mean, stow the town is two seconds away and you can get groceries and all that good stuff. So it could be totally affordable, um, but yeah, it's, it's pricey, even just like the glasses of wine and things like that. <laughs> Um, okay, so let me recap um, our day just to give you some more details about what we did. Um, my husband and my son, who's five years old, came with us and he's been going since he was three and I mean there's always fun things 
um, for him to do. So I mean, like I said, so many activities, great for kids. Um, so the first day we got there, we went to the pool. The pool is amazing. And so in the winter it's heated, but in the summer it's pretty warm too. And there's two hot tubs and there's actually like a swim out option, which I could only imagine would be so cool in the winter. But huge pool, um, there's like a little bar there so you can get some cocktails and whatnot. Um, but yeah, we just hung out at the pool. Um, it's not super deep, so I mean, it was great for Quinn that he could just swim and he could touch, you know, at points. Um, so we didn't have to worry about him too, too much. Um, then we just did a happy hour. We like showered up, got ready. We did like a little happy hour. So they have this like green area in the middle of the resort. And it, supposedly in the winter, it turns into an ice skating rink, which is amazing. I haven't been up in the winter, so I don't know all the details for the winter. I just like have heard these things. We are experts on the summer <laughs> up there. But they have this nice green area and it has all these awesome yard games. Um, they have live music. Um, they have an outdoor bar, um, but yeah, we did like cornhole and like different games out there. We just kind of sat and chilled and had some drinks and hung out. Um, oh yeah, and uh, on the weekends they have a lot more activities. So they have like s'mores for the kids and like little things like that. We were there at the beginning of the week, so we didn't see that, but we've done the s'mores and they are, they are awesome. They bring everything out for you and they have little fire pits so you can like toast your marshmallows and make your s'mores and all that good stuff. So Monday, we woke up bright and early. Quinn was too excited to sleep. We were up super early and we took a gondola ride. So you can take the gondola in the summer and you can take it all the way up to the top of the mountain. So we went all the way up and Quinn's loved that. I remember, I remember when he was like three years old, just like loving that gondola. I think we probably rode it like <laughs> three times in like one day because he was just so into it. But we got to the top, we did some hiking with Quinn. Um, it's not like a ton of hiking, but there's hiking at the top of this mountain. There's tons of hiking in Stowe and Burlington and that area, tons of hiking. But for us, we just got to the top, we did this little hike and went up um, with Quinn and he was in like Croc, so it's not like a hard hike. I mean, kids could definitely do it, but it was fun. We probably only did that for, I don't know, half an hour, 45 minutes, it was, it was pretty short. Um, and then came down and then Quinn went to the kids camp. So they have an all day kids camp. Um, it's an adventure camp. It's for all ages of kids. I'm not sure the youngest, um, definitely like baby toddler age all the way up. And there's different age groups and whatnot. So we dropped them off for just like a half day because um, Mal and I wanted to do this adventure boot camp that they offer at the resort. Um, and it was fun. So the beginning was just plyometrics, um, body weight stuff, all that good stuff. And then we took like a running tour um, of the resort and we went to some new areas I hadn't seen before. So up on the golf course, um, through the woods, we did some trail running. It ended up being like two miles altogether. So it was like a decent workout. Um, and there was like, you know, push-ups, dips, lunges, you know, all that stuff mixed into it. So it was a good it was a good workout so that was fun um and then the rest of that day we just hung out at the pool and had dinner and all that stuff but just kind of like a low-key afternoon and then Tuesday was another busy one um so I woke up and I got to go to the spa which was incredible the spa there is beautiful they use all natural products and good stuff and I actually had the CBD massage so the therapist used uh oil it was like I think it was an essential oil mixed with CBD um and you know massaged me and all that good stuff it was awesome it was awesome <laughs> it was just such a good massage and then the treatment finishes with a kombucha mixed with a little bit more CBD. Um, so all Vermont, you know, made products and everything. I think, I believe the CBD oil that they used on me was a uh, all women's um, run business. So that's kind of cool too. Um, but yeah, the spa, oh my gosh, incredible, incredible, so nice. And if you use, if you get any sort of treatment, you have access to the spa all day and they have these like, saltwater pools and like resting rooms and of course the gym and all that stuff. So, I mean, it's A plus, really nice spa. Um, while I was at the spa, Quinn went rock climbing. They have a whole indoor rock climbing area. And so this year he actually got to do the belay and like climb up with the rope and everything. So he was like rescuing stuffed animals from up on the wall. Um, and Mal said he had the best time. He was so into it. He was like a little bit nervous, but like the more he did it and like got a little bit better, he got more and more confident. And the staff there was just so helpful. Mal was just like, they were so nice and they gave him like little tips how to like, you know, navigate things and get higher and everything. But they had an awesome time. And then had lunch at the resort, and then we went kayaking, and Quinn and I went kayaking. We were in a double kayak, and Mal was in a paddle, or on a paddle board. And so we drove probably like a good 20 minutes away from the resort, um, and you could just rent, 
you know, kayaks, canoes, paddle boards, all that good stuff. And the company, I think, I believe they're called Vermont Canoe and Kayak. It was something like that. But they drove us up the river um, and then we, you know, paddled down. So it was fun. It probably took us a good hour and a half to two hours, but the water's pretty shallow at certain places. So we got out and swam around and went on the beach and explored things. Um, so we kind of did it at a leisurely pace, but it was great. I mean, Quinn loved it. He did the kayak with me for most of the time and then went on the paddle board for a little bit. And that is a workout. I think it was like four and a half miles. So it was pretty much me paddling for four and a half miles because Quinn wasn't really doing much paddling, but um, oh, feeling it a little bit still today. <laughs> Um, and then that night, so that night we got to do a chef's dinner at the restaurant, the main restaurant there, it's called Solstice, and the chef's dinner is available for anybody that stays there, I think even if you don't stay there, and it's, I don't know how many courses it was, I thought it was five courses, but we definitely had more than that. <laughs> We had like appetizer, I don't even know, like a million different things finished with dessert. So we had a lot of courses. Um, there's wine pairings with all the different courses, but it's only $150 per person, which I thought was pretty reasonable if you consider like a really nice dinner out with like a whole bunch of wine pairings. Um, but anybody can sign up for it. It's available, you know, whenever. Um, I think they max out at six people six or eight people they don't make it too too big but if you went up with a group and wanted to have a nice time um, if it, it was awesome I mean the, the food was incredible and they actually customized kid meals for Quinn um, so that was really nice so like we had oysters and scallops and things like that and I mean Quinn's not typically he's not gonna eat that stuff so he had you know quesadillas and guacamole and um, the carrots and peanut butter that made us very happy I'm trying to think what else he ate um, dessert, of course, but had a whole different menu for him. So that was really great that he could be part of it and, you know, have his own little meals at each course. Um, so that was really great. Love that. And then we went, after that, we went to Line House, which is a secret speakeasy on the property below the Skinny Pancake. And it is really cool. It's this really funky bar. Um, they don't have a drink menu or anything like that, that you just tell the bartender what you like to drink and they come up with something for you. Um, so yeah, we got to experience that, which is super cool. Even if you like Google it, it's really hard to find like information about it. You have to like know somebody or like get invited or something like that. So thankfully we had the hookup and got to check it out, but we went for a drink and Quinn got his, you know, own mixed cocktail, of course, without alcohol. Um, but it was really cute. It was like a take on a Shirley Temple, but without like the red syrup and the soda and all that. So it was fun. I just want to tell you guys about that if you're there. Um, and then the last few things I wrote. So the Beanery. It's a little coffee shop on the property and you know how we feel about iced coffee but great iced coffee they have all sorts of espresso drinks um, smoothies egg sandwiches all that good stuff um, all sorts of like granola bars and snacks and things like that but we love that place we actually did breakfast there one morning and of course got coffee there every single day um, and they actually have like a little provision section off to the side so you could grab some like meats and cheeses and wines and snacks and stuff like that for your room if you wanted to just have them there or you didn't have time to get to the grocery store. So they had all sorts of stuff that you could just pick up there. Um, and then the gym. So we didn't have time to work out this time. We have in the past, so we typically prioritize the workouts, but you know, between like the adventure boot camp and the canoeing and all that stuff, I was like, we had we had enough, enough activity that we didn't need to hit the gym. But the gym's really nice. They have four Peloton bikes that are brand new and you can, anyone can use them. So I, I checked them out. I didn't really have, I didn't have time to use them, but I thought that was really cool. All the equipment's new, treadmills, Nautilus, you know, the pulley machines, free weights, all that good stuff, have everything. They also have classes. Um, I think they had like a yoga Lotties. They had a few different classes, but you could, you know, take group exercise classes as well. And then around the resort, there's all sorts of shops with like so much cute, like Stowe stuff, Vermont stuff. Oh, I just remember we were gonna get like a Christmas tree ornament. We gather Christmas tree ornaments from our different trips and we totally forgot. We talked about it and then never did it, but all sorts of great shops, so I mean, the shopping there is great as well. Um, but yeah, I feel like I've rambled on forever. These, that's all my notes as I was just going through and trying to remember what we did. Um, but yes, absolutely love it. Um, we will go again and again, <laughs> even if we are invited because it's become such like a important part of our family's, you know, family vacation in the summer. And we just love Stowe, we love Vermont. We've always loved Vermont, um, but highly recommend it. Um, totally great for kids. 
families, the whole bit. And like I said, there's just so much to do, top quality service, and everything's just so nice. You know what I mean? Everything's like fresh and healthy and nice and I don't know. The place just has a good vibe. Um, of course, if you have any questions, anything like that, let me know. I think there's a special carrots and cake deal in the works. We briefly talked about it, so hopefully that's happening. Of course, if it does, I'll let you guys know. I'm gonna put this on the blog and I'll include that discount, so you know, check back um, on carrots and cake. And of course, you know, reach out if you have any questions or anything like that. But this was fun. I love doing these recaps because I feel like so much more comes through with me just talking about it and just being enthusiastic about the experience. Um, and these are fun for me to do. But I hope you like this one and I'll see you guys soon.